This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Life looks really, really, really different now. And I'd love to take you on the journey of what's happened since I've seen you 10 months ago. <laughs> so I think let's restart to my birthday. Indeed, I am now 33. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> my 33rd year on earth the year i said it was going to be the most selfish year on earth for me where i indulge in just play joy and zero guilt over the fact that i'm basically going to spend the whole year not really working it was my year of semi-retirement that i granted myself after hustling profusely for the majority of my life The last two years has just been admin. The most adulting I think I've ever done in my entire life. It has been non-stop paperwork, but I haven't created any art for such a long time. It's been so adult and so serious and I feel like playing. I really do and I don't know how to play. So I think I have to put myself in situations that force me to do things that I'm not used to. It's not a habit for me to play, to have fun. And I, that's so depressing to say that. I have no idea I'm going to do it. First ever time doing an inspection on the house. Uh, the tenants are here, which makes me nervous because they're also not very good tenants. They're very, very bad at paying the bills. Let's go. They're drug addicts. are about to come back again and I wanted to show you what I'm up to without having to film in their faces. I am on my new journey of being a musician. Finally, 33, I'm doing it. Ah, Sorel, you'd be so proud 22 years later. You guys. We love you. You guys are cool. TV. Welcome to my crib. Hi! First time in front of a camera, pointing a camera like this towards myself in such a long time. I quit a six-figure deal brand sponsorship that I had for the remainder of the year recently and um, I thought I was not going to come back and then I just keep getting the pool to keep recording videos. Since I started camping a few days ago, my days are just filled with like running, eating, <laughs> resting. Good. I love camping. So nice. It's nice to be attached. Makes you think a lot. Makes you self-reflect a lot. And I've just noticed I've got like a pattern. I really genuinely have to figure out what this is all about. My default is like sad and I don't think that's who I am. So I need to figure out what this is all about. So I don't think that's me. Wow. Day two in the big brother house. Tom is struggling to find words to find, no. Day two. <laughs> Day two in the big brother house. Tom is struggling with Sorel's attitude to him. He doesn't know what to do about her obsessive-compulsive uh, space invasion. There 
there's no problem it here. Seem, it seems there's to be no worrying him. <laughs> no! No! This is the 500th day locked inside with Tom. <laughs> <laughs> we are now going to be putting the lyrics on for what song is this now? We've oh, made like man. nine or ten songs? Uh, the eleven. Eleven? Wow. Final stretch. Ah! My heart is fine. You want me. But I'm already gone. Last day before I go to LA. Is it? Tell me that. <laughs> So we're just smashing out a few more songs. It's crazy. We're just like polishing everything off just before I go. And yeah. we'll wait for three months. Polishing a turd. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, no, it's great, honestly. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm super excited to release this stuff. I can't, I can't wait to yeah. like let people hear it and also play it as well. So many songs like Bang. Nature's Eye and Rocking Out on Stage. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I just happened to go to the doctor, a holistic doctor today, who is transforming my life with the first visit. I am 33 and single. My life is kind of scattered everywhere, I'm not really doing much. I'm not inspired by career at all. Couldn't give a shit, actually. to witness myself shifting in the brain from retirement brain mode into starting to really push into creation mode and my marketer's brain is like starting to kick into overdrive in moments and this is where I have to be like Whoa. Hold on, Sorel, because once it grips me, it, it really goes. I'm very consciously in retirement mode right now. It's three more months until I'm 34, and 34, I will give myself permission to resume back. Bring the focus back on having the best time. I'm not gonna show you how cheesy I am, but I'm gonna tell you how cheesy I am. So I decided to put a picture of my favorite person in the universe right now. No, not my boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. Just one of the coolest humans I've ever met in my life. And then I decided to sing to this person. There's something that happens to my body when I'm lying flat in vehicles that can move. <laughs> it really is the simple things in life, huh? Oh wow, take it in. Ah! Not you, mosquito. <laughs> I was just taking in the fact that I was actually with you guys again, recording. Oh my gosh. Two and a half months ago, when I just arrived in America, I arrived and I was wearing all black. You guys know me, I'm like, all black, badass, doof, doof, doof. <clears throat> About three weeks ago, my body was like, mm-mm, I cannot wear black. Even to the point, my socks are not black. My undies are, and I don't like it. My body doesn't like it. It's so bizarre. I'm in my feminine. I feel incredible. I feel so fulfilled, wholesome. My guilty pleasures, my selfishness cup, I suppose, is overflowing. I just feel like I've recharged. 
The last time you saw me in the video about my house, my latest unit that is it's still under construction actually. I just went through a breakup a couple of days prior to that and uh, the show had to go on. I still had sponsors and I was in my head thinking, well, I have to keep going because it was sort of easy cash for me to just continue making videos through two years of some of the most painful times of my life. I think that was a breaking point. <laughs> I was pushing through trying to keep the sponsor happy, but what I was giving up was myself because I kept tricking myself that it's just one video a month couldn't make a single move, another video after that. And so I cut the contract and I just went into hibernation mode. Things are starting to align. I'm starting to take full responsibility for it as well of how I contributed to that mess. Because of course, when you first go through anything, it's easy to blame. But then you've got to look at yourself and be like, how did I actually do this? And taking full responsibility for everything pff, means you're never going to repeat those lessons. How are they real? This is not real life. This is freaking cotton candy right now. It's cotton candy on the sky. And the moon creeps out of nowhere and it's huge. It's freaking beautiful. <laughs> oh my God, this is, this is why Joshua Tree is so special. The energy that exists in this space is second to none. Good morning, 6 a.m. So happy to be here. Beautiful moon. Good morning, moon. And the sun is coming up from this side now. Oh, this place is heaven. This is heaven on earth. Okay, here we go. It's amazing to think about the hard times that you have and at the moment when you're going through those hard times it feels like your life is tumbling and there's no exit, there's no, there's no light at the end of the tunnel and it's so heavy and if I think about a year ago, exactly a year ago where I was, like how much I've changed and grown and how so thankful for those dark moments because it didn't like push me it catapulted me exponentially to where i am right now in my life and the new experiences that i've had and this moment right here everything i've ever done any single decision any single step i took in any direction all of it led me to this direction this place right now and i am amazed grateful privileged thankful that i am even in this location that I'm alive, <laughs> that I feel good about myself, I feel good in my body, and how broken I was like 12 months ago. Life is like this. It has to squish you down sometimes so that you can veer back in a different direction. Stronger, more resilient, and I'm so thankful for every single moment that I've had, that the, the hard parts included, I'm grateful for them. I wouldn't change them actually. They still hurt. I guess that wasn't the path I was meant to take. I guess this is my path. I just spent the morning writing down the plan for 2023, which is a really big deal actually, because it feels like true and it feels honest and I feel like I can actually accomplish this and it involves all of my favorite things of travel and adventures and meeting amazing humans. Honestly, it feels like play and I get to get paid for it. I think this might be the biggest thing that I'm changing about going forward in life is to focus on things that I love so much that it actually feels like play because this doesn't feel like work. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> like all the creative buttons are going to be pushed, all the business buttons are going to be pushed, the money making side, uh, the creative side, like there's a lot. Yeah, this house has been so nurturing and so healing and just exactly what I needed. Here where I remembered who I am and rediscovered joy and pleasure. I'm so thankful. I feel like my body was broken, depleted. It needed nurture and intimacy. It needed me to remember who I am. It just needed me and my attention. In this moment, what I can say is I feel excited about living and not dread towards life and the burden of the weight of everything that is related to being human. I'm excited about living again. Yeah. Relief. <laughs> Relief of 
What? Not being able to share the music. <laughs> in the USA is coming to an end. I don't know what the future holds. My life is 100% uncertain again. My community's gone. My work is gonna be shifting drastically. Single, single, Sorelli, me, myself and I on a journey of who the hell knows where we're gonna go. What a great chapter. Who would have thought that at 33, I'd be single living in a tiny studio apartment by myself, learning to be artistic, weird, musical, <laughs> joyful, playful, learning acrobatics. Yeah, that makes sense. I definitely did not expect that. My time in LA has been movement and music and community and play and joy. May our futures be as much in alignment as possible, no matter how scary and unknown the future is, because it is scary and unknown. And the best stories are the ones that are still unwritten, right? Full trust mode engaged. I made so much love on this bed. <laughs> In all honesty, this year of semi-retirement really came as a surprise. I genuinely had no idea I was going to be taking this time off. However, looking back at this video when editing, I realized it was done completely out of necessity. My body was giving up, it was breaking down, and I was so stressed. The fact that I had the ability to grant myself full permission to take complete time off and feel no guilt around this is a blessing I'll never ever ever take for granted it is actually my 34th birthday in um six days so the year of semi-retirement is coming to a close right now and um wow it's been the best thing i could have done for myself like my cup was so empty it was so empty and now to have it overflowing and full and so ready and inspired to just do create but like a new version of myself not hustling not grinding but just like everything has to be so aligned in me energetically and if it's not it's out because i know i'm not showing my highest good so yeah i'm ready to restart life like but a much more balanced perspective where there is so much space for play joy connection movement it's not ever gonna go back to what it was and i'm in my beautiful new space it's the first time in my life that I feel like home. <laughs> it is my place, my first apartment ever, that I decked out exactly the way that I want. And it is breathtaking. It's breathtaking. I can't believe this is home. I mean, I'm a real estate investor. I have like 11 places, 12 places. I've never felt at home ever. And this place is mine. I feel like this is the universal support that sometimes you have to get when you go into full trust. So after I said goodbye to the sponsor, they happened to come back, <laughs> but not just wanting to restart the contract at the beginning of the year, but wanting to double the contract. <laughs> it just made me so happy because yes, I'm totally down. I'm feeling refreshed. I took the break I needed to. And so therefore I want to announce that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Ah! so happy so let me tell you about all these amazing features of squarespace because i have been using them well before they sponsored me huge fan of their work and i really do recommend these websites because they do help you to have a beautiful online presence that actually works the features that they've now incorporated are <laughs> banging new editing interface with fluid engines flexible grid place blocks anywhere even overlapping other blocks and resize them directly on the page this one is a game changer because it allows you to have the website really really customizable to suit exactly your needs. And then of course we have the 24 seven customer service from Squarespace, as well as the award-winning templates that allow you to look beautiful, even if you do not have an eye for design. You have complete marketing tools, including email management, top analytic tools to track the performance of your website, to continue refining and improving the results of your business in real time. Squarespace also hosts your content seamlessly, text, videos, and photos, of course, but also audio blocks can be inserted in case you're a podcaster. You can see there are so many aspects of Squarespace that make it an 
almost one-stop shop for everything online. So get on to this. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Sorel to get 10% of your first website or domain. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being part of my journey. And let's see what this year has in store. And it actually has something very cool, which I will start sharing in the next episode. So I'm so excited to share that with you. Subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz. What's my saying? Ladies, gents, boys and girls, and everybody in between. Ah, oh, fuck. Peace. Something like that. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>